you know, say a little prayer. That's a perfect title for this episode, man. You know, you know, this 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 episode is I told you it kind of came kind of came true what I talked about last week about fatback. I, I kind of predicted what was gonna happen. I kind of oh, man. Oh, yeah. And they they that's definitely what they did, man. They they set them up for the kill and it literally set them up for the kill with this one, bro. Hey, set that man up, man. I mean, I was kind of disappointed. You know, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, on that part, I was kind of disappointed on the writing. I felt that right there, they got lazy right there. Cause it was like, that was too, it was, it was, it was too easy. You know what I mean? Like to me, you know, uh, it was, it, 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 it was too easy. I feel like the writing got lazy. It's like, okay, how are we gonna kill off Fatback? He turned himself in, but then he come outside and, and it was just too much going on to where I think, a, a, a a normal person would have been like, I had the, the red flags when it went off well before he got into the warehouse. If it was me, you know what I mean? Like, I'd have still been. I kind of felt like this, that was the play, though. I kind of felt like last week, I felt that was the move. You're not going to get rid of Leon. You're not going to get rid of Leon. You got to see how you're going to get Leon out this jam. You going to, you know, fat, fat boy, fat, fat back, you know, saying he was, he was in on, he was in on the shooting, turn him in, let him do the time. You know, do how how Franklin would say you're gonna give him five k a week plus give him two fifty when he get done with the whole bid, and then for them to kind of switch it up on him and bail him out early, that was kind of like you know what I'm saying a little twist on it because we was thinking it was gonna be Franklin to bail him out, but instead you know what I'm saying it was Scully girlfriend bailed him out with the bridge she got from Scully, you know what I'm saying try to get back at Leon, you know what I mean? So I thought that was a little creative on that part, but like I said, when they was kind of driving him in the into the alleyway, he kind of like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he he thinking with he thinking with his other head. You know, he ain't thinking, mm -hmm. you know, with his brain. He just see a right. pull up on him. Like, oh man, Franklin and them kind of they got me in there. They're gonna take care of me, but you know what I'm saying, while I'm out right now. So that's where I think, you know, saying the right was kind of cool. But like I said, when they pulled up in the in the alleyway, that's when he supposed to have been really kind of like antenna supposed to have been up. You know, letting them know what's what about to go down. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, come on, man. Yo, what was your antenna, nigga? You know, like like my nigga Money Mike said, like, I'd have been, man, I felt like from the jump, like, you know what I mean? I felt like from the jump, I would have been like, hey man, you know, hey baby was sitting there like, man, there's nobody. This is a girl I ain't never seen before saying Franklin Win. I'd have been at least been like, hey, you know, take me to a payphone real quick so I can make a call. I at least checked in, like, hey, y'all sent this for me? All right, cool. And then, you know what I mean? And, but hey, like you say, he was sticking with his other head, went in there, and even, you know what I mean? And, and, and drove that man off in the alleyway up in the, in, the, in the abandoned warehouse or whatnot. He still didn't have no, he still didn't, but you know, hey, you know, hey, Fatback had to go. Somebody had to go. And that's, and that's how they, and that's how they decided to get that man out of there. I figured that was what was going to happen, you know what I mean? Because they got to keep Leon on the show. He wanted to, he wanted the main focal points on the show as far as like you know holding down the blocks, holding down, you know, being the muscle for for Franklin. And Franklin was just going to let him go like that, you know what I mean? Especially like when he said, "Man, he a soldier," you know what I mean? He let him know like you know, fat, fat back, he a soldier, you know what I'm saying? He ain't really in on this in crowd, and you know between the two, who Franklin was going to look out for? He's going to look out for Leon because that was a yeah. With him, that was more Leon, man. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't really have no alliance to him like that. You know, he was in on he was in on the work, and you know what I'm saying, you know, with the business. But he wasn't like in an inner circle, more or less. He wasn't in the inner circle. So I kind of felt that he was on the outs when it came down to this. And then, you know, for him to for for Scully girl to just go and just kind of like you know stab him up. I don't think the other girl knew what was going down because you can kind of tell she wasn't really ready for that. You know what I mean? She, yeah. She probably got. <laughs> Probably like, we're gonna just get them and take them out there and we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna put them out there and try to figure out what's we're gonna try to figure out what Leon is. But when she started stabbing them up, you know, she owed us, you know, spin up a good. She wasn't about that life. Yeah, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. Yeah, and, and, and man, she uh yeah, she scully girl went in. She went in and, and, and gave him, gave him the, you know, you could tell that was rage right there. You know, yeah. you just killed my baby. Cause man, she was stabbing that man up. You know, I just thinking like anybody else. If it was just okay, you don't know what Leon I you said. Okay, let me just take the pistol out, bow in the head. It's over. But nah, she she stabbed him like that's rage right there. Like you know, she was going in. Yeah, she was man. She hit him at least twenty, thirty times with that blade. You know, a kid. Then the thing is, she hit him with a kitchen knife. One even no, no <laughs> knife out. Bro. 
and did drop the man off at the at the back of the club. Did drop him off at the club. I was like, oh, they hard. It was so crazy, bro. Why is Franklin got all that coke and dope in the in the club, bro? He got the he got the he got the dope and the money all in the same spot. What is he thinking, bro? That, hey, Franklin, don't hey. It's too much. He don't know. Hey, Franklin, he he he. Franklin nervous. Is he got too much going on, and he ain't thinking straight, and he ain't listening to nobody. He ain't listening to nobody. Like like. A piece like we gotta move, it, we gotta move it. You know what I'm saying? When you come, you gotta move it all. But but like from the from the beginning, like bro, why you got all this coke and the money all in the same spot in the club of all places? You got in the club. The club burned down. You can't claim no insurance on nothing in there. Nothing in there, bro. It's all going. It's all going up. And and my thing is like, they know frankly, they know this is your club. And Louis, they know all y'all uh, 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 related or, or or you know what I mean. Know each, you know, in business together. What's going to stop the police from running up in there? When they run in there and raid the whole spot, everything. Yeah. Go. You know what I'm saying? Everything. He, go. he making all this money, bro. He probably had that money, you know, scattered out throughout throughout the town, man, in different buildings. You know what I'm saying? All these, these places that he that he didn't bought up, man. He supposed to have that money spread out. Like, spread, spread out, bro. And the thing is, he ain't never supposed to go with a dope at. Exactly. This man always up in there going with a, opening the door, getting the dope, getting the, getting the money. Bro, police run up in there. You up he up in there with the man. It's over. That boy getting a hundred years. It's over, bro. You going because when they pan out, when they panned out, man, he got all the bricks just stacked on the wall in there, bro, with the money too. Like Franklin, come on, bro. What is you doing, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's like that's like that's one on one right there. Hustling one on one. I'll keep the dope and the money at the same spot. No bit of money in, in, in the same spot, and you definitely ain't gonna never see me at the spot with a dope at. We gonna see, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna go be Teddy Reed. Hey, Teddy Reed, where's that in the car? My whoever I'm with, hey, drive the car to, and I'm leaving. Exactly. I ain't never. I'm gone. You know, I ain't never there. You know, but hey, Franklin, man, Franklin, we, hey, he be slipping. He be slipping, yeah. man. He be slipping tough. Yeah, you see how Reed came in there and, and gave him that, gave him that, hey, you replaceable talk. Gave him that chat, like letting him know, like, hey, look, you replaceable. Yeah, yeah, letting him know. And I think that's a setup. That's 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 a setup for he heard what he uh what man boy sister said. If you was you if you was just what did he say, if you was uh worried about finding Leon just as much as you worried about finding that plug, you would have found Leon. And then if he read the plug, talking about you replaceable. So I'm like, hey. I feel like they, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be man boy gonna find Teddy Reed some type of way, or Teddy Reed gonna find man boy because he ain't gonna like what Franklin doing, and he gonna he gonna hold man boy over Franklin's head, like hey, hey. I go to him, yeah, you better straighten up, because he already told me you've been missing drops, you've been missing all this stuff, bro. Like what is you doing? Like you got a multi million dollar business and you ain't you out here, you can't move freely throughout the city because you got a war going on, you got bodies being dropped. And you can't handle your business, but we need to be running business, bro. I need to be moving guns because you know he already in a jam too because he can't he can't get them guns, them guns missing that you know Javi couldn't get them guns, mm -hmm. and so he got that whole issue missing. And then Javi hit him up for what, a couple of million or something like that. Javi hit him up for some million. Yeah, and oh. then you see the other agent come in and say, "Hey, where the guns at? They got pushed back. We need them guns. Need them guns. Now he got to yeah. go out there and try to find some guns, man. So so Franklin Franklin uh. Did too with a brother did. It was out for a dad not telling that his brother did. He like man, yeah. I'm, I'm calling. He's like, when I'm coming to the front. He's like, oh no need. This already happened happened two weeks ago. Like bro, what is you doing? You just not telling me. Just not. So the thing about yeah, the thing is weird about that. We still have, don't know why. Why I, they? Why? No, no. Why is why him and his pop beefing like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah, because he was like, it should have been you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, why is he beefing? I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, okay, your son is a CIA agent. So it's like, what did you? So something must have happened between him and I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what happened between him and his pops to where his pops hate him so much. Yeah, they you know about that. They, even in the previous season when he went to go get his brother the first time, you know, his dad, you know, they they went yeah. then, you know, what I'm saying because his brother was there when they were beefing then, but they never really talked about that backstory. We'd like to know a little bit more about that. You know, yeah, you. I'm like, man, because not to, for for your brother. And, and he never, they had never even told the pops what even really happened to why his brother had them, them heart issues. So yeah. I'm like, right. All that coke. Yeah, yeah. So they never really told his pops. Reed never told his pops. I doubt if his brother did. 
You know what I mean? He just knows something was up, yeah. you know? And, it, you know, so I'm like, because his pops probably don't, you know his pops don't know that Reed is the one bringing this coke in, the government bringing coke in. Definitely not. Definitely. Definitely. So I'm like, what's, what? Is, I'm like, man. So it can't be mad at Reed about that because he, I know Reed don't, they told him that. Young, it's probably something that happened when they were younger, bro. It's probably definitely something that happened when they were younger. They just didn't touch on it. They just kind of showed that he wasn't happy with him from the from the, you know from when he first met him when he went to go get his brother, and then when he yeah. brought, he dumped his brother back on 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 him when he was at after he got all that coke snorted up, and he was having yeah. type of issues and stuff. And then he left him again, so you know his pops just ain't really been feeling him at all. So that's a whole situation, man. But you know, just yeah. drunk, how drunk and faded he was after that. Go run up on, run up on, run up on uh, Franklin, and then you know what I'm saying. Then come back to the club. He knocked out. He out. He on the floor, all face down, and he go high. Face down. I say, hey Frank, 